Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. The topic that I will be discussing today is the virtues of Ayah Al Karima. The Messenger of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi wa Alaihi Wasallam throughout his life bestowed his blessed companions Ridwanullahi Ta'ala Alaihim Ajma'een with beautiful wazaif and litanies to recite and make part of their daily routine. From amongst those companions, one is Sayyidina Sa'ad bin Malik radiallahu ta'ala anhu. He reports that the Messenger of Allah sallallahu ta'ala alayhi wa alayhi wa sallam said, Should I not guide you towards the greatest name? That if you were to recite this whilst making a supplication, a dua, then Allah Almighty will never reject that supplication. Rather, he will accept it. And if you were to ask for something from Allah Almighty, then he will grant you it. That supplication is a supplication which was recited by another messenger, another prophet. Sayyidina Yunus alayhi salatu was salam recited it in the midst of darkness. And that dua is La ilaha illa anta subhanaka inni kuntu min al-thalimeen When the Messenger of Allah sallallahu ta'ala alayhi wa alihi wa sallam recited this dua from amongst the blessed companions with one Allah ta'ala alayhim ajma'een one asked that is this dua specific with just Sayyidina Yunus alayhi salatu wa salam the Merciful Messenger Sallallahu Ta'ala Alaihi Wa Alaihi Wasallam said, Have you not heard the beautiful words of Allah Almighty? He says in Surah Al-Anbiya, verse number 88, That just like we granted freedom to Sayyidina Yunus Alaihi Salatu Wasallam, we will grant freedom to the believers. The Messenger of Allah Sallallahu Ta'ala Alaihi Wa Alaihi Wasallam said, Whosoever recites Aya al karima La ilaha illa anta subhanaka inni kuntu min al 40 times in the state of illness. And then if that person was to pass away in that state of illness, Allah Almighty on the day of judgment will resurrect him amongst the marches. And if he recites Aya al karima and he is cured with its barakah and blessings, then Allah Almighty will forgive all of his sins. Now these are the virtues of reciting Ayah al karima Then imagine the blessings and virtues of all the other wazaif and litanies that the Messenger of Allah sallallahu ta'ala alayhi wa alayhi wa sallam has bestowed upon his blessed companions, Ridwanullahi ta'ala alayhim ajma'een and his nation. May Allah Almighty give us all the ability to make these wazaif, these litanies, part of our life. Wa akhirud da'waya, and alhamdulillahi rabbil alameen.